Hey everyone, in today's video, I wanna show you how to change your keyboard on your iPhone, and I wanna show you multiple different things because I get asked this in multiple different ways. One is just all the default options your iPhone keyboard has because it has a bunch of settings you probably don't know. Then I wanna show you how to change the font style, and then I wanna show you how to get these type of different layouts. And with these, you could basically make your keyboard look any number of ways. You could change the color or the style and you get this kind of look out of it. So I'll show you all the different ways to change your keyboard on your iPhone. So the very first one is a lot of people want to know how to get left-handed or right-handed keyboard. And you see this little globe, if you press it, there's this little option over here you may have not noticed before, but this changes it to Kind of a left-handed keyboard if you're typing with one hand and this changes it to a right-handed keyboard if you're using your right hand here the next thing people typically ask is how do you change the language so by default it's set to english but if you press and hold this you could go to keyboard settings and here you could change the language of your keyboard right there on top it says keyboards go there and again it's in english but i want to add a new keyboard and then you could go ahead and change the language from everything that's available over here. So if you wanted to, for example, add a Spanish keyboard, you could find Spanish here on the list, select it, and then it's added the Spanish keyboard over here. So let's go back to our keyboards app here, press and hold, and let's choose Spaniel. And you could see my keyboard's change. It now has Spanish characters. I'll add a Chinese language here just to show you what that looks like and there it is that changes the keyboard language now the next option is you may want a different emoji type of keyboard so by default you have this emoji keyboard this has a bunch of different emojis but then there's a bitmoji keyboard too so you could download an app called bitmoji that i've covered in different videos but this one gives you these kind of stickers that you could use to respond to text messages then the couple other options that I get asked often is how do you change the font of your keyboard like you see over here. You see how I have a bunch of different fonts here available to me that you wouldn't have otherwise. And when you type them, it does send the text this way. They see the text exactly this way and they don't have to have anything installed on their phone. So to do that, you have to use a font app. So let's go to the app store and there are a lot of different font apps. I'm going to use fonts art. So this one here. And if I open this one up, uh, every time you open an, one of these apps, by the way, you do have to give it permission. So let me go ahead and give it permission here. Once you download the app, if you go to the settings app of your phone, I'm just on the settings app where all the apps show up. There's this thing, fonts art. I need to go there and I have to give it access under this keyboard tab. So go there and then allow it full access. Okay, this needs to have access in order to actually show up. Now make sure you read this to understand if you want to give it permission, okay? That's why I used only the ones that have the highest rating and hundreds of thousands of reviews and not just random apps in the app store. And now if I go over here and press and hold, fonts art is this one here. And this one has a bunch of different fonts available. Some are paid though that you have to unlock, but some are free over here like this one. And the last thing I'll show you is to change your keyboard layout to different colors and different kind of animations. And that one requires this app called Fonts. So a different app. Again, I'm gonna open it and give it the same permission. So you have to do the exact same thing. You need to go to settings, go to keyboard, allow it full access. So settings, then it's gonna take me to the Fonts app under the settings go to keyboard and then allow it full access like this. Now it's all turned on. So let me go back to text and this time I'll press and hold the globe and let's do fonts right here, the last one. And if you press this airbrush here, you have all these different options available to you. So I like this one, there you go. Anytime you could change this, but this doesn't change how they see your message. It just changes the layout of your keyboard. If you wanted to change how they see your message, you need to actually use kind of the different fonts that this comes with that are also available in some other apps as well. I hope you found this video useful. Make sure you give it a thumbs up, share it with anyone that may find it useful, and I will see you next time.